The simple and quick overview of the process of preparing SDP report in IAM is to have your employees on the payroll then add them to the payer on and create SDP report for lodgement. Let's take a tour in IAM. When log into IAM, you will arrive to My Businesses where you will see your business listing detail. If you have multiple entities, they can be accessed from the one login. Select the business you want to work on and click open to go to the dashboard of the selected business. First adding employees onto IAM, go to payroll and select employees. Now you can add employees to payroll by select create new employee. The employee form is populated for you to complete and fill all mandatory fields of primary details and contact details. Payment details is optional. You will be required to fill out the onboarding section to notify the ATO of the employee's information. And ensure to save the details, do the same for all other employees if any. Once all employees are entered into the payroll, you now can create the pay run. From payroll menu, go to payroll events to prepare pay run. From here, tick to select the employees to be added to the pay run. Enter the pay period start date and end date, frequency type, total hours, base pay, the PAYG and superannuation will be calculated automatically. If the employee also receive allowances or deductions or any other payment, you will need to select the SDP payroll categories and enter the additional information on the fields related to those payroll categories. Ensure to click save to keep data entered. The pay run will then mark as draft under status. Select more and mark as sent to confirm pay run and proceed to STP reports. Once pay run is confirmed and ready for ATO reporting. You can now go to reports and select STP payroll events. Enter the pay run frequency, the pay period date along with payment date and run the report. The employees you entered earlier in the pay run need to be added on and select generate report to push data on ready for lodgement. Review reporting information and if everything is good to go, make declaration and you are ready for lodgement. The options on lodgement section are, validate and save means you can cross check with ATO and save details but will not lodge. If there are errors, they must be corrected so that it can be lodged. Or lodge and submit if you are ready. Once lodged and successfully submitted to ATO, you can find the copy of the lodged STP report from my lodgements tab in history with the lodgement receipt of date and timestamp that ATO has received data.